Yo, 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 what it is, my fellow wolves out there in YouTube land. This particular video is going to be about syntaxing a document and or utilizing the ever so infamous four corners rule of legal forms. Now then, walk this way. All right, so what does all that mean, right? All right, so I've known about these for years, and uh, as I'm going back through the treasure trove of information, this came up again and again, so I was like, hey, let's just make a video out of it, okay? So, syntaxing a document, so when you guys get time, for those nerds out there, like your boy here, your, who's like yourself, um, you want to type in syntaxing a document now there's a particular guy on YouTube who does this for a fee okay because obviously he's good at it, but you because I believe in you and you not you we're cool never like anyway um, you can learn to do it yourself I've done it I've used this I've won in court with it um, for me personally I kind of think of it as a minor thing but if it's all you got I mean if you got a choice between throwing tiny stones and a boulder you know, and you ain't got no boulder, so I guess you only have tiny stones. Throw tiny stones. All right, but legally, they're not really super tiny because they do work. And what what is it, though? Wolf, get to the point. All right, so syntaxing is the language of legal documents. Each document has to follow a certain way that it flows. Okay, so... Syntax states the rules for using words, phrases, clauses, and punctuations specifically to form sentences. Um, this guideline has to go along with tickets, how they communicate with you, court documents, any of that stuff that they issue or try to put on you or use against you. If you syntax the document, and I'll tell you this, probably like 90% of, of all of their stuff is not syntaxed properly, okay? Not everybody out there be having a good grammatical English, and so that could be the your way out of the system or the situation. Cabe, over cabe. So what did I say? That means if they didn't have somebody who professionally created that document, or if they, even if they were professional and they still messed up with the wrong punctuations, the wrong way they uh, put their words, conjugated things, etc. Um, boxing, not boxing. Uh, providing uh, dictionary definition areas to understand the words so we know certain words should be starred so that you know which um, um, variation that they're talking about. That's improper syntaxing. That means the document goes bye-bye. It's null and void legally. Now for us, uh, on the outside as U.S. nationals or nationals, whatever, foreign nationals, state citizens, non-resident aliens, non-person, non-combatant, um, for us, we don't have to necessarily worry about ours going into the system because we're considered foreign and so we're not supposed to even know how their system goes. So they have to kind of interface it. Okay, that's why they kind of transmute our information from what we have to how it's supposed to be or how they perceive it to be. Um, you know, same as they transmute a lot of things, numbers, names, all that kind of stuff. So anyway, um... So look up how to syntax a document, okay, or syntaxing, you know, that's one of the things. Now the next thing is that they also have to go by is called uh, the Four Corners Rule, um, which is a legal doctrine that courts use to determine the meaning of a written instrument such as a contract, will, or deed as represented solely by its textual content so what does that mean so even deeper they're saying here in order for your file or their file um, to be legitimate and to be pro in proper form that's where you get form it's a form because it has to be in proper form um, you have to utilize that so that it has well, here and we'll go down um, in order for it to have legal effect, so just like syntaxing, that's another, it's, it's kind of goes, they go hand in hand. Um, in order for it to have any legal effect, it has to fall within the proper form of the four corners rule. Otherwise, it's null the and void. Okay? 
Okay, you guys learning? You paying any attention? Y'all ain't gonna do your homework, are you? Uh, all right, uh, B minus is for everybody in class. But for those of you who uh, are paying attention, this can help you out in a number of ways. Because depending on, put it this way, if any document you've ever had signed that you agreed to, whether it's what you signed to be for your house, uh, for before you went to you know prison, your ticket, or whatever it is, if you can get a copy of it and you syntax it, you look at it, you learn how to do four corners rule. If they made mistakes on there, it's a wrap because if it's uh, I forgot the exact Latin phrase, I'm a little rusty on that right now. Um, but essentially, if uh, you if it's fraud from the beginning or not done properly, it's fraud now. Period. It means it was built on fraud, and it was void from the beginning, and it's void now. So check it out. It's a simple, easy little 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 trick that you know most people don't know about. Slides under the door. So check it out. All right. That's it, guys. Not a terribly long video, but a very powerful one in the right hands. Okay? So, remember, go in peace. Be at treaty with all peoples and places and nations, yourself especially. Don't forget to support the channel. And uh, check out blacksite32.com for additional information, updates, files, consultations, all the goodies. Discounts, offers, and we're now selling hand lotion. No, I'm just kidding. We don't have hand lotion. Um, unless you want it, I'll, I'll buy it and then you can just buy it from me, I don't care. Uh, so that's about it guys, take care, stay wise, stay woke, and um, more videos to come, I'll hide you soon. Okay, bye. Awkward.